What's good, music producers? It's Curtis King of SlapExperts.com, and today we're going to cover three different ways you can make your own hi-hats from complete scratch. You guys are going to love this. One of the ways actually pisses me off because I wish I would have known before I dropped my drum pack conundrum, but let's talk about it. Music producers, today I'm going to show you how to make your own hi-hats from scratch, whether you're operating on stock plugins or if you have access to these plugins that I'm going to show you. It's really, really, really easy. And I've seen many different tutorials that show you some more complex ways to do it with Serum. That's not what we're going to do today. Today I want to show you how literally hi-hats are a sine wave game. And what I mean by that is that these waves can be manipulated in so many different ways to make a hi-hat sound like the kind of hi-hats that you use in trap beats, hip-hop beats, whatever the case may be. It's literally the manipulation of these sine waves. And so I'm going to show you how to do that. But let's do it in an unorthodox way first. The first way I'm going to show you how to turn a clap into a hi-hat. Let's go ahead and do that. So first thing I need to do is actually operate here in my channel properties. And I'm going to go down here to the out feature because what I want to do is actually take that clap that doesn't really sound like a clap more like a snare and I want to thin it out this is a stock sound by the way so if I take that and let's start testing it out we're starting to get a little bit of what we want but we got to get a little, little bit more than that so what we're going to do is we're going to actually pull this length here until it starts to kind of thin out has a little bit of a hi-hat texture. Let's go to a higher octave. Okay, so let's do this. Let's actually go in here and let's actually lay a pattern, which is something that I do whenever I'm designing them from scratch, just to make sure that everything is working good. This is a terrible hi-hat pattern, but I want to just show you using this example. Let's take this and let's actually hit that off with a one third, push control U. Let's do one of those sort of stutter steps. So as you can tell, there's still a little bit of a bass frequency within there that doesn't really give you the resonance of a hi-hat. Uh, we want to kind of go for a trappy hi-hat. And so what I want to do next within these properties is basically access the effects target feature. And here I can do things like add a resonance to it that is going to give it more of a hi-hat sound. It's getting there. Something else I like to do is mess around here with this pogo effect. It's kind of hard to explain what it does, but you can tell by listening to it that it changes the shape of the sound and the direction that the sound is pretty much heard. So let's go ahead and just toggle with it to the right first and then to the left. That sounds like a hot head, my friends. I like that. Also here, I can mess around with this effect, pull back on it to take some of the bass out of it. So it's getting there. I think it can still be messed around with. Let's actually take that to this chain that I put together, and I'm going to explain this right now. So the first thing I try to do anytime I'm trying to mix a sound into a sound, I got to mess with the EQ first. It doesn't really make too much sense to mess around with anything else. You got to clean it up first and get it to where I want to get it. Now, I'm going to probably take this a few notches down to the high pass, make it a steep, because I really want to get the sort of mid to high frequencies out of this hi-hat. Now I'm being dramatic with how much I'm pushing on it, but you can tell by doing this, it's starting to take a little bit more of the hi-hat features that I want. So that sounds good. Only issue I'm having with it is that it still sounds a little bit 
dry. And so what I would do next is basically use this plugin called Byte, which is one of my favorite from the complete uh, series, the complete 11 or 12. I, feel, I forget which one I got. But with this, I can basically add sort of like its own 8-bit and 16-bit resonance. Let's run through some of the presets. See, I like that. Some things I don't like about it. Take the crunch there. I like that because it feels present. So let's just go ahead and use that. Let's go here to the Easy Mix. And Easy Mix is one of my favorites because it gives you presets already that are made for whatever you're trying to do. So if I just type in hi-hats here. And mind you, a lot of this stuff can be found within the stock plugins as well. These are basically just adding other effects to it. You can actually even open up patcher and then right click and then you can go here to symbol and this will allow you to do the same thing I'm getting ready to do here but I'm going to use this instead you can see you can add the rumble the metal the stroke the pause the plastic the brightness <laughs> let's take that off and let's go ahead and mess around with this in easy mix these are some of the hat presets that they already have so it's going to add a little bit of reverb for it in case you want that So I like that. Only thing I don't like is how harsh the hi-hat is coming in or the clap actually. And so what I'm going to do is kind of envelope this a little bit to take off some of the harshness of how it attacks. Sounds better. Let's go ahead and go over here and then boost this with the clip on. As you can tell, I can probably spend a ton of time trying to perfect this, but I just want to give you a general idea of how to do that with a clap. It's no different than if I copy this clap pattern over, take it over here to this hi-hat, this stock hi-hat in FL. You're already starting to hear some of that sound. It's just too much sound that we're getting out of it. So what we're going to do, same thing here. I'm going to speed through this one, actually. I think I want to go down. Let's go down to A. So let's go ahead and take that. Let's go down to A. It already sounds like a hi-hat because it's literally the foundation is a hi-hat. But let's take this over to that same chain. You can add distortion. You can add whatever it is that you want that's going to bring out the kind of hi-hats that you like. Hi-hats are a little bit tricky because... You know, you can use many things for them, but they're not going to all give you the same type of swing. And a lot of these hi-hats that I'm doing right here, you know, I would generally push these off of the grid because it's just coming in just a little bit too sharp. But, you know, that kind of stuff you can always mess around with. Let's actually try this now with Patcher. Still have the same EQ on it. We're going to go ahead and mess with the brightness. Something I like to do for any kind of EQing is take the knob as high as I can just to hear very clearly what I'm manipulating. So that's why you keep seeing me take it to an extreme and then bring it back down to my liking. But that makes it super easy. So the last way, which for some people they're not too patient with because it's a little bit more complex, is using the 3X oscillator. So if I just open up the basic 3X oscillator and I press this button right here, the invert oscillator one. Do the same thing for two and three. I get this. Not a sexy sound, but it's going to give us a hi-hat. So what I'm going to do is go here. Actually, I'm going to turn this down because it's a little bit harsh on the ears right now. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to actually bring this pattern over here. I don't need all of this extra room. So I'm going to zoom in, highlight it, push control, alt C. After I do that, I have pretty much the same thing that I manipulated before, except this is just pure white noise. So what I'm going to do, boom, boom. 
Does that sound familiar? Like a lot of the hi hats that you be getting sometimes, because a lot of them are made like that. Fam. That's funny. Okay, cool. So now let's take the same pattern we had before. Make sure we mute the other one. Let's run it through the same chain as before. This one I might treat a little bit differently because it already has natural resonance on it. So let me actually take some of the harshness here out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up another plugin that I like to use called Dirt. A lot, I run a lot of my 808s through there, but I do it also for the hi-hats. I'm going to tighten up a little bit more on the sound. There we go. So those are three common ways people make hi-hats from scratch. Here's the last one, and it almost pisses me off. I want to throw my laptop and computer all the way out the window because it's so damn easy. And I wish I would have known that as I was sitting here doing all of this tedious process for my new sound pack conundrum, which is out now at slapexperts.com. I was in here doing all of this, not realizing that Plugin Boutique, the same folks that make Skeller and Skeller 2, have this program called Hats that is by a company called Audio Thing. Fam, this right here. Is everything you need. All that stuff I just showed you right now, you won't need this if you have this. The link is in the description, but check what this thing does. So it gives you a bunch of different presets to begin with, right? So you got a lot of factory presets. A lot of this stuff should be common to you. The 808, you've heard that a million times. Let's go ahead and do this from scratch. We're gonna use this 808 mod right here. One of my favorite things to mess around with is the crusher here that kind of gives it its own embedded distortion. That's super dope. All right, let's mess around with some of the ring modulation. Let's take some of this reverb down too. I like really dry sounds, especially when I'm sound designing, because I want to give you guys the opportunity to add your own effects to it. But as you can see, this audio thing program has made making hi-hats super, super easy. You can do the same thing in Serum. You can do the same thing in Omnisphere, but it's a lot more tedious to do it. This right here is a dedicated plugin strictly for making hi-hats from scratch. You can take it. And then obviously when I lay this down... in very much the same way. I could bring this pattern out here, shorten this clip, consolidate it down, boom. There's my hot head. <laughs> Obviously you wanna add some effects and things like that so what you can even normalize it. Mm, that's a clean hi hat. Some things I like to add sometimes with some stereo delay. It's a nice effect. But after that, you right click it, save as. So as you can see, these programs have made it easier than ever to make your own hi-hats from scratch. Plus, even if you're not a sound designer, it's just really fun to see what can you manipulate into a hi-hat. Matter of fact, I think that's a great place to leave this video. In the comments below, leave me a comment of the weirdest thing you've ever turned into a hi-hat sound because you can do this with literally any sound and a little bit of creativity. 
For those of you that want to get your hands on my newest sound pack conundrum, it is out now at slapexperts.com or in the link below in the description. It is my best sound pack, and I'm so happy to do this work on a regular basis for you guys out there who are producing and creating fire. This is the work that I love, and I hope that you enjoy when you get your hands on it. That being said, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Definitely leave a like on this video and share it with somebody that you know that may want to make some hi-hats from scratch on their own. And like I always say, you will not be full of life until you decide to live life to its fullest. Once again, it's Curtis King of SlapExperts.com. Have a good one. Look up, Nazi. Say cheese. Hmm.